Here's how to set the antlers on a deer mount. First, we gotta put a form up on the stand and we're gonna make sure it's level before we do anything. To make it level, I'm gonna mark the corners of the eyes in Sharpie so I can see them better. So then I'm gonna set a small level on the end of the nose and hold my arms stretched out. Then make micro adjustments and get it as level as possible. This is the view I'm looking at when I make it level. So now I set the antlers on top of the form and the distance from the eye socket to the burr is just a little bit long. This distance should really be about two fingers. I'm gonna cut the skull plate right about here using a sawzall. So now I'm gonna set the antlers back on and measure it with my fingers again, and that's a better fit. Here's a quick note about getting the angle of the antlers correct on a mount. That first curve of the antlers should line up pretty good with the bridge of the nose. Here's a picture guide from Research Mannequins. Pause this if you need to. Now, while there is a range of correctness on the antlers, this is a common place of error for taxidermy mounts. So this is my set and I think it looks pretty good. So now before I set these antlers in, I'm gonna clean up all that dried tissue on the skull plate. I'm using a Dremel and a sanding bit. I get as much as I can with the sanding bit, but then there's just some hard to reach places like under the burrs, so I get those with a smaller bit. So now that skull plate's all clean and I need to go ahead and drill three holes. One hole for each of the bones on the skull plate. You can see this squiggly line here is where those bones have fused together. And those are all separate bones. They each need their own hole right about here. I put a wooden block underneath the skull plate so I don't drill into the table. And these are gonna be screw holes, so I'm using a bit that's about the size of the screw, just a little bit bigger. And it should look something like that. So now to set these antlers semi-permanently, I'm gonna mix up some Bondo and put it right on top of the form where the antlers sit. I'm gonna put those antlers on top, and what I do is just hold it in place until that Bondo kicks. For me, I find this the most accurate way to get the antlers exactly where I want them to be. So now I'm gonna take three three-inch long screws. I drill these screws in shortly after that Bondo kicks, but then pretty immediately I take that skull plate back off just to ensure that that Bondo isn't permanently sticking to the form. This is just what it looks like with that Bondo in the brain cavity there. So then I just screwed those antlers back in and this form is ready to prep.